They've been told to stop. That is today we check in with Buntuber and National Fugitive Pipkin Pippa of Phase Connect. You tell me exactly what you want, and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What the f The mastermind of flavor, self-described as the next big wave of VTuber content, whose VTuber roster was all created by Pippa herself with AI-generated artwork and then handed over to the community to do with what they want. That now bringing us over to Komachi Panko, the panda VTuber of Phase 2 of Phase Connect, having Pippa join her on stream to create a new branch of flavor, with the two Phase Connect members then creating these three flavor members, being labeled as a part of the toxic flavor branch, and once again with these designs being handed over to the community, and joining the previous roster made up of the original five members. And it's been a wild ride since, as users have not only taken these designs and created accounts, but have now actually debuted, are answering questions and answers, and even rigging models. This now turning us to Face Connect member Tenma Miami, herself turned into an AI chatbot and asking her followers, what are you saying to the AI and not to me. Now taking to Twitter and saying, every single flavor member stop interacting with me either here or in chat. Let the joke die naturally in peace. I will ban from my chat if this continues. Adding, flavor uses the idea to interact with company VTubers and feels like they have the right to message face connect talents now that their only connection is to that. That is where I cut the line. Echoing the statement was face connects Amaris Yuri, flying thank you Michan, and it's a funny joke and fun idea, but sometimes the quote-unquote talents have been crossing boundaries. You can have fun with the idea, but please stop using it to cross boundaries with me, Tenma, or any of the other phase talents. Pippa would reply to her very good friend Tenma with, ah, I think they got excited since you participated in a stream about flavor, but some responses have been hostile, not only on Twitter, but even direct messages to us here at TVS, asking us if there was more to the story, with self-described members of flavor asking us for context or even quote if the face connect talents are acting like a-holes this now brings us over to the cinnabon bon account a user who has streamed and noticed other viewers bringing her up in pippa's chat saying just a friendly reminder please be respectful build a bears good morning it's cinna um still a little groggy still a little hungover i just wanted to come on here to remind you guys i'm watching through pippa's last stream and I saw she brought up collabs and you guys were asking on my behalf. While I am grateful, um, I need you guys to stop doing that. <laughs> if anything were ever to happen between Pippa and I as a collab wise, I would hope it's organic and not something she felt forced into. And if a collab never happens, I'm also 100% okay with that. She owes me nothing. I am so grateful to her for her creation and for her um, direction and leadership, but I, you know, I am nobody to her i am simply you know a person very low on her totem pole so to speak I, I i am not owed anything and i definitely don't want anybody pestering her so please be respectful and keep in mind that um, while she might be flavor ceo uh she she owes us talents nothing <laughs> Uh, she's already done enough, so thank you. Thank you for, you know, your support, and I hope you can respect my wishes. Thank you. This further echoed by another member of Flavor, saying, Well said, please respect Mama Pipkin. And in response to Tenma Miami's tweet, respect the other Face Connect talent's wishes as well. TVS has directly reached out to Pippa regarding this, providing more context for us, and being very clear that her friend Tenma Miami collabs with everyone, that being indies and flesh tubers and more. While then she went went on to a 20-minute rant regarding fluoride in the water supply. But we do now return to one of her original tweets regarding flavor, reconfirming that flavor belongs to the community as a whole. You're free to designate quote-unquote official VAs or quote-unquote official hubs, but it ultimately belongs to everyone. I'm glad so many people are having fun with it. I didn't expect people to actually meme a VTuber group into existence. Please remember, this was meant to be satirical. Do your best not to create trouble for others. Don't take anyone seriously.
serious if they try to monopolize the concept. Lastly, if you're streaming under the project, then beware of shady people who will try and take a cut or promise you big things. Otherwise, it really will turn into a black company like the original joke. And so we'll see what the future holds in store for this artificial VTuber concept that is becoming more real day by day. And what is also real is the live show for TVS coming to Anime Los Angeles on January 8th. Join us during our main event as we will be hosting an awesome cast of VTubers. And speaking of main events, here we have Iris of Hall Live English saying, Hyrus, it's Nurus, finally giving us her new design reveal. And with plenty of predictions beforehand with Das Doctor giving us hope predictions, which would then be later shown on the reveal stream itself, including not only Gundam Riss, but Stick Riss. And also watching along was Nijisaji English's Millie Parfait, set to debut her very own new outfit only one hour later, and along with tens of thousands of others noticing the cursor appear on screen. That is a stream had the largest concurrent viewer count of any Hall Live English stream for the entire year of 2022. And also watching was Hall Live Japan's Hachima, showing off the beginning of this very slow reveal and saying nice feet as we moved up to Thyrus 2.0 and then a full reveal of the dress, which not only features a very nice ribbon, but also near the shoulders, both bloom and gloom. The two mascots for Iris designed with her and also Sukomo Sana's input. Once again, proving that Sana is eternal, we at last received the brand new face reveal with Hachima saying, okay, marry me with Iris's old face here on the left and new face on the right with Iris saying this is now her with makeup on. All Live English's series Fauna reacted with a princess angel has descended while Amelia Watson would also tweet out an angel and bringing us to new merch, including an acrylic stand, reversible tote wrists and belt key holders. Long speculated and now confirmed Iris's original character illustrator Red Juice has returned for this brand new 2.0 illustration with Iris now being rigged by Iron Vertex's Brian Choi. Here now we have one of the very first fan arts to ever exist for Iris 2.0 coming from Tekaru as Hall Live English's Haycos Bells would tweet new wife who dis. They're in leading to this artwork by way of Miku. Further into the stream Iris would show off brand new expressions with Itori commenting I want her to step on me with that exact face. Then taking the time to sprout these new wings with Hall Live English's Mori Calliope saying I just woke up Iris so beautiful and Brian took to Twitter to show off the models various um physics with Iris replying thank you so much Brian for making me so fluid in so many parts gonna do my best in this new look artist Advertor would say I'm so happy that her design is so cute but it's still not any easier to draw that said we did receive new fan artwork in record time including by Nami saying I love her new design so much Das Doctor giving us Hope 2.0 Electric Boogaloo Farigami with their own rendition of Hope 2.0 Jazz Jack here with New Iris John Azarin offering up OMG a whole new look and Kazer Cake giving us a whole new hope Half a day later Red Juice would finally reveal the reference designs on Twitter calling this Iris 2022 winter version and confirming that was simply a placeholder name giving us these stripped down references the accessories and a multitude of expressions. That bringing us now to Niji Sanji English's Millie Parfait, revealing her brand new outfit and confirming that silhouette was a scam. Even apologizing to chat in a song with the official Niji Sanji English account, tweeting out this official silhouette, even if Nina Kosaka called it a fake. On the opposite end, Millie Parfait's reveal was incredibly fast, showing off the chest in no time, where the only jiggle physics were on the lacing. Even Nina would say, Millie, you're going too fast. Give me a second to tweet. Then jumping right into her credits with fellow Ethereum member Anna Alouette reacting, she's so gorgeous. Also, my babu would actually never betray me. This is my true waifu from start to end. I will die with her and bury my grave next to her and her future husband. Nina further saying, Millie went fast, 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 zoom, zoom, fast. With Anna also acknowledging other VTubers takes their time to reveal outfit. Millie, this is what I look like. Okay, you can go now. As before we knew it, we were already at the end screen, complete with cute mascot. After Millie would tweet, thank you for watching my costume reveal. Sorry, I was nervous. As early into the stream, Enna had noticed, I hope she's okay. She's clearing her throat a lot. And then an hour later, Millie would tweet, the only time I streamed, I get sent to the emergency room. I am okay though. Panicked a little bit after streaming.
stream because I suppressed myself from coughing and I ended up coughing blood. Apparently I have bronchitis now. I'm going home. What a wild day. Saying also, I do apologize if I sounded really bad in my outfit reveal. I didn't know I was that sick. Further along, we have Millie's character illustrator showing off this design and admitting they were confused when they saw this silhouette as it was not something that they designed with Millie herself replying, I'm sorry for the different image in the beginning. I wanted to trick my viewers from the beginning. Everyone loves the costume design. We also had the premiere of Millie Parfait's original song, Reincarnation, occurring in the middle of the reveal stream, with the audience being told to go to the premiere of the song and then return to the reveal stream. And it would react to the video with, I'm getting goosebumps, and later I'm crying. Babu works so, so hard on everything and always likes to push away the spotlight. She always gives so much love and support to everything and everyone, so please give her all your love and support. She deserves all of it and more. That is the next day we properly turn to Niji Sanji English's In a Alouette, the songbird of Niji En, who prior to her new outfit reveal, brought us a brand new cover and leading to Nina to say, when did you start smoking, young lady? Along with Vox Akama tweeting, listening to Enna's cover, and I still can't believe I got to collab with someone that talented on a song. She's insane. In a Alouette's character illustrator, KT, would have some fun teasing us with this potential new look, all while Enna's actual reveal outfit stream would kick off with a dating sim visual novel, giving us the Enna girlfriend experience, where time and time again, she was stopped from confessing her love to chat, leading to Niji Sanji English's Kyo Kanako to send out this tweet that we had to triple verify that it was real, saying, poor aloe peeps always getting cucked, and then began the true outfit reveal, leading higher and higher, as here we have Nina tweeting thigh reveal, and Ike Evelyn saying the designs and color scheme are all so pleasing. KT Mama, I kneel. Hugo Asuma would say, Oni-chan, stop blue balling me, I can't. Millie Parfait was watching on her phone, providing these exceptional screenshots, and then later saying, leave my phone quality alone. Unofficial mom of Nijisanji English, Nina would also tweet out, Miss Enna Alouette, your skirt is too short. And then before revealing the chest on the model, various fan images flashed on screen, including this one from a well-known anime 2 Niji Sanji fan artist, leading Shu Yamino to react with, what? And then viewers were treated to the proper chess reveal, with Enna's character illustrator tweeting out, flat is justice. We were also provided zoomed-in research as Nina would question, is this breast or armpit? And Vox saying, two creases, hamana hamana awuga. Further, Ramo Indo would say, push up bras, Enna. Gotta push the up so they jiggle. Millie Parfait would continue to live tweet from her phone as she would comment, Millie, I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing at every screenshot you send. Finally, we had the face reveal, leading Nina to say, I want to kiss this little nose, this little face, she is ready to marry as the mother fox of Etheria who will come to claim Enna's hand in marriage. I accept diamonds, money, wine, your soul for my sweet angel. Reimu would simply respond with with Nina further asking, how can someone be so cute and yet so foul-mouthed? And continuing to be helpful, Millie would provide these high-quality references for artists out there. Yes, very helpful. It was also noticed that Enna, Millie, Petra, and Remu all have matching braids, as Enna herself would then kick off a karaoke session, leading Nina to lastly say, she is my one-toothed princess, little Weddy, my beautiful magical hamster. This bringing us now to the final Etheria outfit reveal by by Nina Kosaka, working as the Queen of Diamonds, and starting off her reveal stream with a game of block game. Oh. And it only got wilder from there. Then moving into a karaoke session before the reveal, and finally a look at the fan predictions in this cabaret, as then we got a look at the new models, feet and tails, leading Niji Sanji English's Scarlett Yonaguni to respond with Mommy Kick Me, in a saying, oh my gosh, the design of the clothes as then even more of the legs were revealed, leading even Vox to check it out. As here now, we have the full new Nina 
Kosaka. As mysteriously, Millie Parfait would say, I hate it in here. And Enna Alouette responding, disowning my mother. That while Hugo said, you jiggle, I giggle. And Reimu replying, I can't stop looking at the bounce. Next up, Rosamie Lovelock of Nijisanji English was very impressed with the hair, with Enna also saying, I love her hair so much. And then came the hat, making V Shoujo's Iron Mouse simply scream out loud and Scarla reacting, mommy so pretty. With Rosamie further saying, I warned you dog, I told you about the Etheria outfits. And yes, Nina can also use her older default hair, giving us this new combo along with the face mask. That while Reimu would state, have they ever stopped jiggling for a second? Scarla tweeting, why yes, good sir, I am appreciating and examining with the utmost respect. And Millie Parfait commenting in chat, welcome to the demonetization club. And the curse is real, that being the cursor, noticed by Ike Eveland on Nina's screen, while others noticed that one of Nina's tails also had a mask. That's right, it's Robert, and they are Mika Melatika's Oshi. After the reveal, Nina also had her first cover, that being God Sees All. Later, Nina would make individual tweets thanking everyone, with this one directed to Etheria. The four would then join each other on this very busy collab stream, that while Nijisanji English's Maria Marionette gave us the ultimate amalgamation between the four. And that wasn't all as Hall Live English's Takanashi Kiara reacted to Millie's new outfit with your new outfit is so cute and fluffy I love, saying to Enna, I love how detailed everyone's outfits are and the theme so gorgeous. And lastly to Nina, stunning, absolutely incredible, love the darker, mature vibe. And next up, we are vibing with our co-host Cody, offering up more things VTubers say. Co hi yo It's a busy week at Hololife as we finally get round to celebrating the first anniversary of Hollux. In the last episode, we covered La Plus, and today we start with the girl with the hips you don't want to miss, that being Takane Louie. The executive opened with a very cool trailer showcasing all of the guests she'll be bringing to the stage. Louie's artist, Kakage, tweeted this image letting everyone know they're ready for the live event. The first guest was the one and only Calliope Mori, joining the stage to sing Bully, followed by Nekomata Okayu, who popped up from one of the two towers in Louis' themed set piece. Shiragani Noel and Hosho Marine then jumped in to sing Love Machine, both wearing their new 3D outfits, with Noel debuting hers just last week. This was then followed by Toa and Chloe. Chloe, of course, will be celebrating her anniversary live later this month, but the last collaboration involved Botan and Pekora, who opened with some very sharp choreography, all of which was composed by Marion, who tweeted, I was happy to see you dance so beautifully. And then we finally get to see Louie in her idol outfit with Shishiro Botan pointing out it's the type with a jacket. The live ended with a performance of Louie's new original song, Subasa. Next up on the Holox 3D lives is Hakui Koyori, who opened her live with an adorable little throwback of clips from her last year of streaming. And then she jumped straight into her first original song. Koyori took us over to her lab to play a few mini games and bless us with Wacky Pie. But she also hinted at a riddle to be solved during her live 3D. Koyori then whisked us away to a rocky little number, lost my music, and had a quick change of scenery for the next song. There was yet another scene change for Koyori's next cover of the opening for the anime movie Air. And true to the movie, Koyori grew some wings and flew over the ocean. Flair and Kanata then joined the stage. Alongside Koyori, who was wearing her idol outfit, then we took a quick break from the singing, with Koyori jumping into Resident Evil VR. Speaking of idols, elite idol Sakura Miko also made an appearance to sing a duet with Koyori and gave her a good thumbs up instead of completing her heart. The 3D live ended with a new original song titled Otome Yosekyo QED. Post live, Koyori tweeted a link to a Dropbox for those that solved the riddle during her anniversary. The Hololife fan server were busy playing detective and noticed various highlighted text across the live, which when put together translated to the day your loved one started in this world, which is of course her debut date 2021 11 28. So if you'd like to check out what's in there, I've given you a shortcut to the passcode. This then leaves us with the two remaining members, Sakamata Chloe and Kazuma Iroha, going live on the 29th and 30th of this month. That's everything from me. Back over to you, false. Thank you very much, Cody. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch, and we'll have more. Things VTubers say for you soon.